Hey everyone, we're talking about drug testing in child custody situations today. I'm Steven, I'm a child custody attorney with Foxtrot Family Law. And an issue that comes up a lot in child custody, unfortunately, is drug abuse. And it's important for both you and your lawyer to be familiar with the local drug testing facilities and services available because if you can prove or at least provide a, a good amount of evidence regarding the possibility that either a parent or caregiver has a drug issue then you can ask the judge to build in some requirements or restrictions for drug testing. That could be in the form of one immediate drug test to see if somebody's got something in their system the very day you're in court. That can be an ongoing random drug testing program. Or, and I've seen this in a lot of agreements, and we've done this in a lot of our cases, an on-demand drug testing clause in an agreement, meaning that one party, maybe both, uh, upon 24 hours notice to the other party in some form of writing, email, preferably, or text, the other person, the other parent, the other caregiver has to go perform a drug test within 24 hours. If they fail the drug test, then the lawyer and the uh, committed parent or relative go from there with what they need to do with that information. If that person passes the drug test, the requester of the drug test is responsible for the cost. Um, this can be built in to any child custody agreement. It can be requested from the court, but if you request it from the court, you will likely have to prove why you believe there's a drug issue and how that drug issue has or might affect the safety and well-being of your child. So talk to your lawyer about these issues. See if that's something you need to work into your case plan. And good luck with you and your family and your case. Thanks.